Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate. We're almost at the end of the year, but it's as though our work has only just begun. We keep at it in the interest of a better society. I'll be setting things in motion by tackling a topic that is on a lot of minds. I've called it last man standing. Bolaho is no less topical. He has opted to alert us to the other side of the story regarding the not so small matter of a $30, $30 billion loan request. Uche is shocked at the extent to which some would go to attain perceived beauty goals. Hmm. Tubosu is on the team for the first time he makes his debut by speaking of the Nigerian brand. I wonder how many of us have given this much thought. Libras articulates the anomaly of the so-called security vote that appears to have created an open door to daylight robbery. Hmm. Prepare for a lot of exposition on this edition after the break. I'm increasingly aware of the weight of the expression, the box stops with me. Last man standing. Showray's release was recently ordered for the third time, I believe, by the courts. However, in the full view of the cameras and witnesses, the DSS forcefully manhandled him and apparently rearrested him. Even Nigerians who have no personal affiliation to Showray can tell that at this point something has seriously gone awry as concerns the dignity of the judiciary, when the DSS are able to forcefully undermine the same. No explanations given, not that any would be acceptable. Who are the DSS? What power do they wield? Are they above the law? The simple answer is that they must be acting on a higher, more audacious authority. The buck for such an abuse against judicial authority should rest squarely on the shoulders of the presidency. More disheartening is that this callous disdain for the rule of law is happening at a time when we have a senior advocate as the vice president. Commentators have asserted that new precedents are being set by those in authority as regards lawlessness, and yet it appears that those who have a voice and should speak out remain silent. The presiding judge should at least charge the DSS and those they represent with contempt of court, liberals would advise. The Senate and House of Representatives should debate the issue as a matter of urgency. I hear at least someone has raised an issue on that, since it goes towards fundamental rights to a fair trial. It goes towards the civil liberties of every national of Nigeria, whom they claim to represent. It goes towards upholding the rule of law. This is essential as persistent corrosion of this basic foundation of societal law and order could inevitably lead to the house crashing down on all of us. We all should not tire of raising our voices in condemnation, however we can. I recently watched a movie whereby a single police officer stood against an organized syndicate of dirty cops and he triumphed. I know that's the movie, but you know, he was the last man standing. You and I get to be the last man or woman standing against injustice. The question is not if we will lend our voices to the struggle, but rather how we will make our voices count. To stay silent is simply not an option at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What do I say? Please say something. Um, <laughs> You're part of the judiciary that yeah. I've been raped yeah. and part of the law side of things. <laughs> yeah, because um, I, I think um, we fought a civil war too early, too soon. And then, so any attempt to stand for your right, people are quick to remind you of, um, of the consequences. And like Fela once said, I know one die, Papa did for house, Mama did for house. Um, I won't build house, I won't enjoy. And, and, and so you find out that, that um, it's like they say, it's only in Nigeria that, only in Nigeria you will push to the war. And rather than revolt, he would break the war 
and you know still run far from you. Mm. You know, even goats will revolt because I, I really don't know why. And so the government understands all of these things. And that's why they keep doing these things that they do. This is not the first time. Remember that the military, the judiciary were seriously abused, mm. though not this daring. Okay. Um, and then, um, if you remember Ayo Fayoshe in Ekiti, um, about a few years ago also, his, his talks invaded the courts. Even I learned also a judge was assaulted in the mm -hmm. open day court. Mm -hmm. And nothing happened. Those people that condemned it at that time, that's the unfortunate part of it. Mm -hmm. Those that condemned it at that time are the ones that are praising this DSS invasion. Mm -hmm. Because now it is... They're working uh, in their favor. Really? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Are there people praising the invasion? Or maybe yes. they're keeping quiet. Yes. They are well, giving excuses, mm -hmm. depending on, on the side you support. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, like one of it's the, quite unfortunate. One of the but quickly, what I think... Nobody will stand for the judiciary, but the judiciary itself. Oh, really? Yes. Um, it's been too, we've been too quiet to wait for somebody else to come stand for the, the judiciary. The NGC and the NBA need to come together and say, you know what? What's the essence of giving an order when you know I've been issued that it will not be obeyed? Yeah. What's the essence of going to a court to get an order when you know that such orders will not be obeyed? That from now on, we will done too until we all sit down yeah, exactly. and address this issue. You know, rather than this pretense of, you know, let's say we cannot be like them. If I were sure, I would refuse to stand trial from now on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because yeah. what's if the essence? You remain in prison. It's better, it's better because now. whether you, whether now You're the court gives money. order. <laughs> so what is the guarantee that if the same court discharges and acquit him tomorrow, that they, they will mm. be? So what are we talking about? Wow. The same court, Justice Taiwo Taiwo, that ordered that he should be held for 45 days. After the expiration of the 45 days, mm. now say, release him. Mm. And I the DSS were warning Justice Taiwo Taiwo. Mm. You know, so if I were him, I'd just say, you know what? I would rather just remain here. Let me remain here so that the whole world will know that I am here. Mm. I will stand trial until I'm sure that I'll be given fair here. Absolutely. Do you, do you think Absolutely. that will work? Is yes, it, it will. will. It's a protest I, in I, itself. I, I hope so. Um, when, when I think about the old mix, something is seriously wrong mm -hmm. yeah. and like liberio said the judiciary has a role here and i believe the rest of us do too in, in certain way in our commentaries and if, if there are public protests that we can join to register our dissatisfaction with that issue that's his uh, speech the least place <laughs> that i that i expected result I'm, I'm, i may be an outlier in this matter is to say the people who are eating on the table will be speaking while they are eating. I don't think we're going to get public condemnation from people who are in government. Mm. No, it doesn't. You do, it, not even in the US. Do you get the Republican is, is coming out to come and you know, talk about Trump? You don't get it. Well, sometimes you do. So you step out of yeah, that. Sometimes, 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 sometimes you do. When, 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 well, there, yeah, when, there, are, when there are extreme situations, mm. you would get um, Republicans or, or even yeah. party Democrats members to come out yeah. and no, 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 no. condemning Yeah, him. to say that this particular Open. thing is wrong. Mm. Um, if they will follow you through, is another conversation. Going to the court to, to go and try and arrest him just looked like, you know, like there was no thinking that went into trying to arrest anybody. Like it was, it looked very, very brazen. And mm. I continue to be very, very concerned about that because it looks like all the security agencies have a, a particular MO, disregard the rule of law in arresting yeah, people. But the, the SARS will pick you up without allowing you to contact anybody. Yeah. The police will, you will harass you. Um, the military guys will harass you at any given opportunity, even in traffic or but anywhere. But why do they you find think you. that they're able and to now do the that? Who is giving them that. the authority to do that? So I also think that... It's because you're still it's separating... the body language. You're still separating <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. from the presidency, which is not the case I think there's, there's a rot... There is no platform. separation right now. The DSS, as far as I'm concerned, is not um, an independent agency anymore. It's acting on orders and it's carrying them out. They report to someone. Yes. Mm. And, and for them to be brazen like that, I think we're finally getting to a, a point where we can now see that <laughs> everything has pretty much broken down. Yes. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about the uh, rule of law and how, you know, the government is not obeying them, court orders, you name it. And now, finally, they've invaded the courts, assaulted 
assaulted somebody, rearrested somebody, they had to chase the judge away or she ran away. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's gone crazy. It's, crazy, yeah. it's gone crazy. Well, I, I think, think sorry, I just wanted to say that the positive for me out of all this is that you're beginning to see stirrings of a coalition, like at least you've seen the civil society organizations, mm -hmm. 200 of them are, are giving an ultimatum. You see people coming out to make statements that, you know, so me, I'm beginning to see what looks like. Quickly, you know? what did he the, say? the governor Nothing. of Ondo uh, State, who's also an APC, had condemned this. Um, and also he has asked the MB and the NGC mm -hmm. to stand up for yes, the rule of law. That's positive, yeah. yeah very and, positive. And, and on the issue of whether he's guilty or not, it's let a different the court story. decide that. That's I mean, a different so my, my, my point about that is even from the um, point of view of you ha there's no justification for the harassment. There is absolutely no justification yeah, for the it's harassment. It's almost like they're playing into the hands yes, of the people. Yes, exactly. Anyway, no um, as citizens of a nation, we all have our part to play. Bolanho is set to play his part in challenging the single story as regards a certain controversial loan after the break.